Yeah, what's the move, y'all? It's your boy Pissa P. Anki, Lam Lamumba, aka Blow Lambo from out the bar. Yo, you hear me? If you watching this video, hit that like button. First quarter, subscribe. First quarter, leave a comment. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, y'all see me? Tampa Bay to the bus out. Um, retro. Um, you see me when I say, let's see. Um, Jacksonville, Florida, baby. Anyways, let's get to it, man. This the move. The boy, um, what his name? Blueface, right now, Blackface. Cause this new this new foam I use, you know what I'm saying? It's kinda dark, that's why I'm like holding it in my hand and stuff. But um yeah man, Blueface, he just got into a little situation out in Las Vegas to where um him and his guys got in a fight with a guy, I guess um the dude um he uh made a comment to Blueface about um I guess he tried to talk to the female, then the female was in her own little raggedy car and whatnot. So say he say, uh, uh, he trying to holler at a female in a raggedy car. So what? You know what I'm saying? It ain't what he driving, but see that's the thing is, man, people hate level so high when they see these rappers, man, it's like they just gotta say something foolish. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about being a rapper. But what's so crazy is that to some point, no matter where you from, you can be talking about you in the gang, this and all that, to a certain point, man, you got to learn to ignore that. You know, just like me, I'm a tall person, I'm six foot nine. If I made it with this rap music, oh yeah, before I go, yeah, this to my nephew, you know what I'm saying? Can you get like me, this to my nephew, Cam, serving for his country? Overseas, I don't know where he at. Um, maybe London, Greece, Spain, Istanbul. You know what I'm saying? Can you get like Unk? Um, Unk um, still got it, yeah. Unk um, still got it. But anyway, I'm six foot nine, so I wouldn't doubt. You know what I'm saying? It's just like being Snoop Dogg. People know Snoop tall, but I wouldn't doubt for me. You know, people. Are, I go places, people like, oh, he tall as fuck. I don't like that shit. Or, you a tall, he a tall, boy, you a tall motherfucker for when you calling me a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if I ever made it with this rap, I would have to learn to channel, channel that and ignore that, keep it moving. People gonna say disrespectful stuff. That don't mean you got the answer to it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, so I guess a fight ensues between his crew and the guy. That they say that Blueface wasn't involved in that right. But at the end, you can see, I guess, on the day in the parking lot, and the um, dude pulls up on um, his car wasn't there at first. So then you see him pull up, then he yerk off real quick. Then you see Blueface go to popping. You know what I'm saying? That dude probably said some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you watch Boosie Blind interview, he'll like, shit, if you had me, if I was him, I'd be like, oh man, the man tried to run me over with the car, this, then, and the third. I don't know if he can use that because he was so far out of the way. They was, wasn't was even in the way to be hit by the car. But at the end of the day, man, some situations, man, you know, if you take time to think, It'll put you in a situation where you wish you hadn't did what you done, man. And I, I just feel like, man, this new generation, and no disrespect to y'all, because yeah, the boy up there. I look good, but the boy up there. You know what I'm saying? I, I think this generation here, especially, see, in my days, we didn't have all these cameras around, so they enticed by these cameras who done said something and they don't want to get looked seen like this man look here I want to look at my bank account I want to look at my driveway and see 
go home, see I got this, I got that. What somebody said to you that ain't got what you got doesn't mean anything. You know? And I'm gonna speak on another scenario real quick, just like Kodak Black. He goes out to Fifth Ward, Texas. No security, I mean, you know, just his homeboys showing you ain't got to check in, this, then a third. You ain't have to check in, you went out there, you did your thing, you back, whatever. That's a fool mistake, cause that could have been the last trip you made. That's what I'm saying, that is what's wrong with this generation. They doing stuff like this, hey, 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 fun, 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 fun. It could have happened just like that. You know what I'm saying? People like that have too much money to be trying to prove something, to even to flaunt around people who don't got what they got. You know what I'm saying? These people don't have what you have. You got lucky. You have a lot of people from Fifth Ward around you showing you love. Damn fool just went around there. Cause had damn fool been around there, it'd have been a problem. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. It's just like, man, we got to think smarter, man. Move, move, move. Strategic, man, and just learn to, I mean, bro. When you got something, people gonna hate and just take it as a compliment. That person hating on what he can't be. You know what I'm saying? That man is not going home to what you going home to. He's not going where you going. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say on this issue, man. And I just hope the best for home, blue face. I like him as an artist. I mess with his music, not really heard much from him. But the little bit that I heard from him, and you know, hey, I like, I just like his crib walk. I mostly watch videos of him crib walking. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the move, man. You see me for the birthday retro on the phone. FLA, I'm North Florida bound, baby. You know what I'm saying? North Florida, Jacksonville bound, A-Town bound. That's where I'm born, but I'm right here in St. Louis, Missouri.